Deltoid Intramuscular Injection The deltoid intramuscular injection is a common procedure. One must be aware of the proper location for the injection and the proximity of the neurovascular structures present within the involved region. The size of the deltoid mass is small in relationship to other intramuscular injection sites. That leaves a small margin for error at the deltoid site for injection. Deltoid injection is ideal for administering vaccinations. Accurate identification of the safe zone for injection is important. Here you can see the deltoid muscle, the origin from the acromion, and the insertion into the deltoid tuberosity into the humerus. So what is the correct location for the injection? The correct location for injection is in the middle part of the deltoid muscle from the side view. The acromion process is a great landmark to help in selecting the proper site for injection. So you identify the acromion, as you can see here, and you go about 2.5 cm to 5 cm below the acromion. This is the ideal site for injection, which is about 1 to 2 inches below the acromion. You can use the square method. Injection site for this method is located in the middle third of the square or the triangle method. The injection site for this method is located in the middle third of the triangle. Both methods are about the same. If you superimpose both injection techniques, the ideal site for injection remain about the same. Some people may make a triangle with the fingers as shown here to have a proper location for the injection. And you can see that the top finger is over the acromion process. Inferiorly, there is less of a safe zone due to the close proximity of the neurovascular bundle to the inferior part of the deltoid. Care must be given not to cause injury to the axillary nerve and the radian nerve during intramuscular injection of the deltoid muscle. The axillary nerve runs transversely from posterior to anterior about 7 cm distal to the acromion. The injection site should not exceed 5 cm distal to the acromion because this is the danger zone when the axillary nerve can be injured. So how do we do the technique of injection or vaccination in the arm? You know where is the landmark? This is where we are going. You're going to give the vaccine to the non-dominant arm. Sterilize the skin and use a needle, which is one, two and a half inches in length. The needle will be between 20 to 25 gauge needle. We're going to use the Z-Track technique. Pull the skin 2-3 to cm away from the injection site with the non-dominant hand. You're going to pull the skin to one side, then we insert the needle at 90 degree angle. Make sure you don't advance the needle deep to touch the bone. Then we inject the medication, we withdraw the needle. Then we release the skin. This Z-Track technique allows the injection track to seal as the skin is released. It reduces pain and minimizes skin irritation and inflammation and prevents leakage of the medication into the subcutaneous tissue and that will decrease the local irritation. The new guidelines are that Squeezing the muscle from front to back is not necessary, and the Z-Track technique is helpful. Wearing gloves is optional, and aspiration may not be necessary.
Aspiration may be painful, and in reality, no large vessels are present in the vicinity of the proper site of injection. The posterior circumflex humeral artery arises from the axillary artery and runs with the axillary nerve through the deltoid region. And it is rare to injure that artery during deltoid injection because the injection is usually superficial, not deep. The posterior circumflex humeral artery is deep and is close to the bone. Do not inject deep to the bone. Vaccination is safe. Complications from vaccination is extremely rare. The most common complication is serva. So what is serva? Serva is a shoulder injury related to vaccine administration. It can happen if the vaccination is too high or too deep. Serva occurs due to injection of the vaccine into the shoulder capsule rather than the deltoid muscle. If the injection is given too high, the injection can go into the shoulder joint capsule. Serva is connected to injection of the vaccine into the shoulder joint, the shoulder joint capsule or rotator cuff. Serva usually can occur even if the vaccine is administered properly. The patient may have predisposition to this reaction, means this is how the patient's body reacts to vaccination. It presents itself in the form of pain, inflammation, swelling, decreased range of motion, and it usually temporary. It heals after a few months. Soreness in the arm after vaccination can last a day or two, and that's not unusual. But with serva, the pain and the soreness and decreased range of motion will last longer. The condition may cause chronic pain that lasts for a long time. The symptoms usually begin within 48 hours of vaccine administration, and they don't improve with simple analgesic medications. These patients usually visit their doctors many months because of chronic shoulder pain, and they are usually diagnosed with bursitis, tendinitis, rotator cuff tears, or adhesive capsulitis. Refreshing the knowledge of the proper landmarks and the injection technique is important and also increase awareness of identifying patients who are showing signs of serva. This can help to treat the patient early. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.